Hello and welcome to a video about my thimble collection. This is my entire collection. It fits in this case that has a mirror back and a glass front that I've currently opened so we can look at all of them. There are a total of 51 thimbles as of now and this is a collection I am currently growing. Um, every place I go to I try to find a thimble. It's not always successful because these are going out of fashion. But let's see, I've sorted them by the area that I got them. So we start in Norway with the cathedral in Trondheim. Let's see if we can focus. So this is the Nidaros Cathedral. And um, yeah, <laughs> next is the Viking Ship Museum in Oslo. And this is the Cobalt Works in Buskerud and the Silver Mines in Kongsberg and uh, the Hedmark Museum. And this is the At um, Atlantic Ocean Park. So that's, um, uh, it's an aquarium in Ålesund. And then uh, um, the Arctic Circle, and then Svalbard, and then th I bought this in Barentsburg, uh, the Russian town in Svalbard. Next line, we go to Britain, where we start with the Tower of London, and um, the King's College Chapel, Shakespeare, Shakespeare's birthplace, and Lincoln Cathedral, Chatsworth, York, Longleat, the National Railway Museum, uh, the Seton Tramway, uh, what was this? The Fairbourne Railway in Gwynedd, and then the Mar Marwell Zoo. Then we have the first and last house and Brighton and then this is from North Wales from Port Madoc I'm not pronouncing that correctly pretty sure then we have Clavelli and St Michael's Mount and then this is Jorvik one of the few metal thimbles I have And then the final one for the UK is Edinburgh Castle, which I actually haven't been to, but like a friend of mine gathered that I collect thimbles, so she bought one for me, but I actually just buy thimbles from places I've been. So now I just have to go to Edinburgh Castle. It's that simple. <laughs> and then we have a thimble from Ireland, um, and the sh a thimble from the Vasa ship, in Sweden, or well, the Vasa Ship Museum, I guess. And then a thimble from Gran Canaria. And so we're over in like the rest of Europe now. Uh, this is from Paris and Budapest and Slovenia. And then we move into the rest of the world, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, where I spent three months looking after some horses. And uh, one from Kenya, where I went on a trip with my folk high school. And this is a thimble from Israel, where I went um, with my year 10, on my year 10 school trip. Um, then we have a thimble from Belize, where I went with uh, my university class. That was fun. It's very nice to have memories <laughs> stored like this. And then we have a bunch from Italy, where I've visited several times. So this is from Siena. Um, this is from Pisa. This is from San Gimigiano and Florence. Um, and then we have one from Volterra, made from... Uh, yeah, the material that Volterra is really well known for. And then we have one from Luca. 
And now finally we get to the US, where we find my first ever thimble, the thimble that started it all from SeaWorld. I'm not super proud of having <laughs> a Shamu thimble, but it is my first one, so it has special memories and I was only a child. Then we have one from Maine with lobsters and um, one from uh, Mount Washington State Park. Um, and another one from Maine, this one from Portland, Maine. It has, has some nice stuff in here. And then one from Las Vegas and Grand Canyon and the Redwood Forest and then the last one from Seattle. So those are all my thimbles, reminders of places I've been and I look forward to get, gathering lots more and lots more um, experiences and I wish more places would carry thimbles as a souvenir because I find them to be very useful souvenirs, tiny and not too expensive. Um, but it seems like they're going out of fashion, sadly. But yeah, that's my thimble collection, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!